Hi everybody doing out there, walking to staying groomed, and I hope everybody is staying groomed. It's the most important part of the day. So today I'm gonna to be talking about Hugo Boss. I got about five cents or more, and I'm gonna tell you why they're my favorite. Break down the notes, and if you stick through the end, I got a special box opening for you that I ain't even open yet. I smelled it, but it's a secret. So first I wanna talk about, uh, Hugo Boss. So, with this cologne, I feel like it's a sporty, sporty cologne. Uh, you can tell it's like in a canteen, almost. You can drink it. Not really. Okay. So, really, I think in the top notes, it got a green apple, lavender, a nice mint and grapefruit and basil scent to it. Okay. In the middle notes, you got a sage and geranium. And when you talk about geranium, I'm thinking it's more like a rose or like a flower scent, you know, that's coming through the middle. You got a little carnation and uh, that's almost like a spicy, spicy flavor when you spray it on. Okay, you got your chestnuts and your cardamom. And then at the end, at the base of the scent, you got your, your vetiver and you got your musk. I spray this on like in the summertime when I want to smell fresh, you know. Spell real sporty. So Hugo Boss by Hugo Boss. <laughs> okay. All right. So my next scent, and, and this is the one why I really love Hugo Boss. Uh, it's infinite. If you can see it, I'm already spraying a good little bit of it. I love this scent. I don't I don't know what it is. It, it kicks your nose. They got a nice distribution when you, you know, spray it out. I, I just love this one. And so for this one, uh, you got more of like a apple, sage, and the mandarin orange. Ooh, just smelling it. I think the mandarin orange and the apple is why I love this one so much. Uh, I should've got a big old bottle, which I will. Uh, Hugo Boss Infinite, man, I tell you what. So in the top notes, like I said, you got the apple, you got the cinnamon, sage, and your mandarin orange, which you smell right off the bat. And then in the middle, you got your lavender, rosemary, and you got your patchouli. Okay, which is like a flower, you know, you got the sage, you already know you kind of cook sage anyway, so you got a nice little flavor kick, okay? And then the end, you got your sandalwood and you got your olive tree, which is like a real earthy vibe. But I'm really picking up the apple, then the mandarin orange, which I love, okay? So Infinite by Hugo Boss. Love it. Uh, this is a new scent that just came out. Uh, it says, uh, United limited edition. I, I love the bottle. It's real, like kind of a brush silver, you know, I love the smell of this one. Just picked it up a couple of days ago. And I think what I love about it is the blood orange that's in here. You got the apple then the top notes. And then in the middle notes, you got a little peppermint. Okay. And lavender, which is kind of like lavender. And you know, it got that nice floral essential oil smell. And then in the end, you got your amber and then you got your vetiver. You know, it's not really much to break down in here. Uh, I just love the blood orange. I love the apple. And Hugo Boss is known for the apple in the beginning. So United Limited Edition, Hugo Boss, love it. Look at that bottle. Ooh, got your badge code on the bottom. Got your little stamp at the top. Yes, sir. And next, I want to talk about Hugo Boss Tonic. So, I really like this one because it's real fresh, crisp. I feel like fresh out the shower. You can smell it, hit your nose. And the way I just want to spray, spray this one, just to... Oh, that tonic. That tonic. Oh, I love it. So, in the tonic here, you have uh, the apple, which, of course, like I said, they're known for. They're bitter orange, grapefruit, and the lemon. And I think the lemon is what set this apart. Cause you can smell the lemon, you can smell the citrus. When you first pop it, you smell a little bit of that apple. It's amazing. And then in the middle notes, you got the ginger, you got the cinnamon, and you got the geranium. And uh, like I said, it's like, like a citrus. So you got citrus on citrus in the top and the middle, and you got your cloves. Now, I really don't smell the cloves, but I do smell the citrus. And then at the end, you got like a little woodsy note. You got the vetiver. So Hugo Boss Tonic, like I said, 
This one actually don't have the stamp at the top, which is crazy, but man, I love it. Hugo Boss, Tani. Love it. Now this one, Hugo Boss, Uda Parfum. Man, this smells so good. I went to the store and I usually get mine from dealers. You know, they always have the new stuff coming out. They give you little, like, like you see my toy boy. They give you little blankets, little bags. So I went to dealers and I picked this up twice. It smells so good. I picked it up twice. Uda Parfum, okay? And, and it got, like I said, the top notes of apple. It got your black pepper and it got your bargamot first coming off the top. In the middle, you got your cinnamon, your chestnut, and your cardamom. And then in, in the base, you got your musk and you got your uh, vetiver. So the thing is, it's real spicy. It got a real nice, subtle apple kick. It just, I got to spray this one too. I, I just love. Oh. That brings you to all the base of all the cologne that you love. It, it got a spice bomb vibe to me. Um. I just love this one. I love all Hugo Bosses in general, but Uda Parfum, they got the badge coat on the top, as you can see. Okay. Love it. And so at the end of this video, I said that I was going to show y'all a little something. I just picked up the day, came out in 2020. I've never owned this, but... I'm going to hop on the train. I'm sorry. <sighs> Gucci Guilty. Love edition. Ooh. Woo. I smell this a little bit, boy. I had to get it. So go on. Let's go do the unboxing of this one. Okay. Find somewhere to put it. We'll find somewhere to put it in the collection. Got to get a bigger, got a big, bigger shelf. I don't know. So Gucci Guilty. Okay. Do this unboxing. You can see. Let's see the toilet. You got the badge code at the bottom. A little scan. I'm pretty sure that's probably for an app or something. Uh, in the back, you see the Gucci. Okay. So I'm going to pop this one open. Staying groomed is my thing. That, that's what gets me. That bottle is elegant. I don't have anything like this in my collection. You got the badge code on the bottom. At the top, you got the Gucci, Gucci stamp, okay? High end, high end, I love it, I love it. Let's go on and spray some of this on since I just got into the collection. Let's go on and... Tell you what I... When I get out of it... I smell some orange, I do smell the orange. Top notes, it says ginger, kumquat, mandarin, orange, and pink pepper. So, oh, wow. Wow. I smell the rosemary, lavender, geranium. Ooh, at the bottom, I smell that vetiver, the patchouli, and the benzo. I'm hopping on the Gucci train. I, I, I love this scent. Don't smell like nothing in my collection. So, added it on so those are my five favorite hugo bosses and i gave you a little special at the end uh my next video i'm gonna bring in the best summer scents i got summer scents uh next video after that i got my best 2021 scents that came out 2020 scents uh collection is growing as you can see i got all the Valentino, you know, I love Valentino. I love the bottle. I love the design. I love everything about it. So we're going to break down more colognes. Come visit me back. Staying groomed. Hope you stay groomed at all times. Best time of the day is all day. So come back and visit me. Push that like, push that subscribe so you won't miss it. I'm going to try to drop a video every week. So come back and see me. Love y'all guys.